Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about vital sex and tantric sex and the topic for this video is 11 direct ways to multiply sexual pleasure. Today we are joined by this beautiful goddess here. Uh, it's an expression of Kuan Yin or Tara. I hope you enjoy it. Um, pleasure is secret. I don't know how it happened, but in our human evolution, history suddenly, pleasure started becoming this uh, shameful expression of our beings that somehow we were supposed to suppress. I think that thousands of years ago, what started happening is that our sexual activity was becoming a bit too intense. Maybe when living in tribal contexts, you know, maybe everybody was having sex with everybody. We were not putting enough energy in our brains and in our hearts. And therefore, there were some prophets that came in and said, OK, guys, you have to slow down. Otherwise, you are going to uh, mess up the planet, too many conflicts with neighbors and so on. So the idea of bringing a little bit of uh, taming your sexual energy and, uh, you know, not being engaged into sexual activity all the time might have been a very good idea at a given point. The problem that we face today is that we have all this guilt and shame and traumas and uh, misconceptions about sex, pleasure, sexual satisfaction. What I want to give you here is simply a boost, you know, to encourage you to start exploring that again. Because basically, the more pleasure you have in life, the happier you are. If you are in a relationship, if you are married, your marriage is more stable, you are having more fun, you are having more juice, more inspiration, more energy. It takes you out of depression, it brings more health into your life. I'll record another video on the benefits of having more pleasure. But here we go. This is the introduction. I'm already two minutes in the video, but I think it's very important to, for you to understand this. Pleasure is good for you. And uh, here are some simple tips to activate more pleasure in your existence. The first one is dynamic breathing. I demonstrated dynamic breathing in other videos, so I'm not going to dive full on into the, the practice itself, but so that you understand that when you are having sex with your partner, if you add the breathing and you start breathing in a way which sounds like and you do that while you are having intercourse, while you are synchronizing each, other, each other's breath and looking into each other's eyes and you do that intensely for one minute, I mean, this is going to boost pleasure and orgasmic bliss way up your chakras and really give you this massive explosion of bliss. So it's a muscle that you train, you know, it's an ability. You practice, uh, you know, vital force techniques, which is really activating your energy body. And eventually you have this massive amount of fresh energy coming through your system. So this is dynamic breathing of fire breath. Another technique that you can use is sound your pleasure. You know that the moment you start actually sounding the orgasmic pleasure that you're feeling through you, through your body, it's going to expand the dimension of your experience. So how does pleasure sound? Well, you know that, right? When you're entering into an orgasmic state and pleasure, women are a bit more better at that than men. So this is a message for men as well. Just dare to express through sounds. Warn your girlfriend or your girl or your your lover or your wife. Tell them that you're going to experiment a little bit with that. Ah, 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 oh. You know, you practice with different vowels, different sounds, and you do that consciously. Another one, third very powerful technique to bring more pleasure in your life is to use the rhythm from going into really slow mode, slow sex. 
you know, hardly moving. You alternate with very passionate. And with movement, with penetration, with thrust, the, the, the intensity that you bring with slow rhythm uh, is going to bring much more pleasure into your life as well. Tip number four, engage with all your senses. If you can have nice smells, if you can have full body touch, if you can whisper nice words to your partner or have music in the background, really sensual music, if you can uh, have visuals as well, you know, create a space which is really beautiful, beautify yourself as well, uh, the tastes as well, right? Have some fruits or chocolates or different oils or sensual oils that you can put on your body. All that is going to create a multi-sensual experience that is going to boost your pleasure at all your chakras and, um, and create an intensification. Tip uh, number five, full uh, orgasmic, full body orgasmic experience rather than just focusing on your genitals. When you start having the orgasmic flow taking over your whole body rather than just being this a temporary genital experience, I mean your pleasure is really multiplied. And this means that you're releasing sexual energy throughout your whole body. Another very one, very powerful one to practice is not something that happens instantly. Having full body orgasms, it's really a muscle and an ability that you train. Next one, um, be full of energy when you're engaging into tantric sex. Very often what will happen in your life is that even in the weekends, you go to this party, you come back, it's one o'clock in the morning, you jump into, into bed with your partner or your lover and you have sex, but it's already one o'clock in the morning. You might be tired, you might be sleepy. sleepy. So you engage the last resource that you have in your day Sex lasts maybe for 15 minutes, half an hour, you fall asleep and that's it. So if instead of doing that, you consecrate your evening or your day to a full orgasmic tantric sex experience, we're talking about a totally different experience because you are present, you're alive, you're full of energy, you're not just draining the last bits of what's in, in your system. And to be full of energy means you need to rest, you need to stay in good shape, you need to have a healthy diet, and so on. Tip number one, two, three, four, five, six. Tip number seven is train your body for pleasure. You know, your skin, your senses are powers that you can consciously activate. And the more you train yourself for pleasure, the more pleasure you will experience. It's really, imagine that your body is a little bit like a musical instrument and you have the power to play with it. You have the power to play with your, uh, your partner's body to a place where you are activating the senses and really diving into uh, uh, sensing exactly what is the activation, what are the activation techniques that are going to bring the max maximum amount of pleasure inside of you. So... Um, yeah, train your senses, you know, do these sensual explorations. When you're by yourself in nature, start hearing the sounds, start feeling the wind on your, on your body and create also a, a lifestyle which is conductive to experiencing all these senses. Another powerful tip to multiply your sexual pleasure is destroy shame and guilt. So. We are talking about the inner game. We're talking about the mindsets that you can have inside of you that are going to empower your sexual energy and free it in your system. If you walk around with traumatic experiences, shame, guilt, accumulation of negative emotions or negative beliefs concerning sex and pleasure, of course you are going to hold back. It's like wanting to sail on a boat and still having the anchor uh, holding you back of going on a bicycle ride and holding the brakes all the time. So if you want to release your pleasure and become super conductive to pleasure, embrace the idea that pleasure is good for you. No shame, no guilt. I love sex. I love pleasure. I love giving pleasure. I love being pleasured by my partner. 
dare to say these things, talk about it with your friends, so that you create a space which is really super conductive for sexual ecstasy. <clears throat> Another essential tip or tactic is to dive deeper with one partner. What happens when uh, you engage with a new partner most of the times is that you start getting to know each other. Not everybody has the same sensual experience. And for your lover to discover what really pleases you, it will take a while. You know, maybe the first time. They say that the, 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 the chances of a woman having an orgasm the first time she has sex with a new partner, we are talking about one night stand or eventually a, a relationship which she is developing, but where partners don't know each other, the chances of her having an orgasm is about 25%. Once you are steady in a relationship, the chances become much higher, 50 to 75%. So the idea is to discover each other's body. It doesn't mean that you cannot uh, be polyamorous if you like that, if, if that's your choice. But the idea of diving deeper with one sensual tantric sex partner really is going to open space because it's like, you know, training together, really developing this kind of team, sexual team spirit where you're supportive to each other's experience. So very, very powerful. Another powerful tactic is to activate the give and receive uh, postures or roles. Play with the idea of being the receiver and totally surrendering to what your partner is giving you. So it can be, you know, genital pleasure, it can be full body pleasure, it can be something that becomes extremely sensual, kissing. But the idea is really to be in a place where you become totally passive and receptive. You allow that person to, to touch you, to access you, to pleasure you in uh, ways that are going to, you know, activate uh, this, um, this uh, sensuality because you are not opposing you don't feel like you have to give back at that moment the same when you are giving allow your partner to really receive and be totally passive without reciprocating in the same moment so playing with those different roles uh, is going to activate a uh, tremendous amount of, of pleasure in your life and in your system. And of course, you know, when you are back into free flow, where it's just a, a beautiful dance and a, a sensual exchange, which is synchronized between the two of you, then that's another, another game or another sexual uh, play that you can activate. That is, of course, going to bring lots of pleasure as well. But right now you have those three positions or these three roles that you can play with. So I encourage you to play with the idea of being a receiver and a giver. The last essential tip here to activate pleasure in your life is to protect your sexual experience. You know, sex, sexual energy, pleasure are nectars in your life. In a way, they can be more precious than gold or money or wealth or power. So when you're activating your sexual pleasure, it also can create a sense of vulnerability. You can become emotionally sensitive. You can actually radiate so much joy and power that people might, you know, envy you or become jealous around you or try to get back at you. And um, so you need to develop an uh, equal amount of power, presence and confidence when you develop this sense of connection with your pleasure and sensuality. You know, it's a little bit like a, like a battleground sometimes. It's sort of, you have forces which are going to oppose that experience. You know, your neighbors that get angry because you make too much noise and cool it down and don't be so loud. Or uh, you have, you know, a fight with your partner after having a beautiful sensual experience. Or you might, um, you know, not feel safe because of uh, of uh, other 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 reasons. So the idea is really to empower your sexual experience. You know, embody it and own it. Don't feel guilty about it. Owning it means that you are embodying this sexual energy and really walking around in your life with this sense of I deserve it. It's mine. I want more of that. 
and uh, that will be a very powerful you know expression of, of your power so I'm going to summarize these points for you um, dynamic breathing sound your pleasure add rhythm to your sexual experience engage all your senses or have a multi sensual sensory experience activate your full body orgasmic power be rested and have energy when you engage into sex train your body for pleasure destroy shame and guilt dive deeper with one partner activate giver receiver free flow roles and protect your sexual experience on it Pleasure is a really vast topic. We could write a few volumes on that one. <laughs> that's, that's all for now. I'm going just to give you those few hints so that you realize how much juice and possibility there is behind that. I'll see you soon again.